Welcome back to Local 3 News. It's Aspirus Medical Monday, and today we are talking about seasonal affective disorder. Joining us via video chat is Dr. Jason Bomard, a psychiatrist at Aspirus Ironwood Clinics. And so, Jason, what is this disorder? I think everybody can relate to winter blues and just feeling down and a little bit not great in the winter time, but this is more than that. This is when it gets to the point where it's actually really interfering with your ability to either do the daily activities of life or some of the other things that can really make it more of a disorder than just an annoyance. And I think a lot of that does depend on severity. Um, and that's when we make the diagnosis is when it becomes severe enough that it really has started to affect people negatively. What are some signs that may help a person determine that they might have it? It's when you can't get out of bed to go to work or when you're feeling so down that things just don't seem worth doing anymore. Um, I think pleasurable activities are probably one of the best judges of how somebody's doing. You know, if you're somebody that every day likes to play a video game or every day likes to do some art or something of that nature and you just don't find yourself doing it anymore or you look around the house and the house hasn't been cleaned in a few days and that's not the way you normally are. That says something's wrong and that's when it probably is something that needs to get taken care of. When you stop going to visit the people that matter to you or when you stop calling people on the phone and starting to isolate, we call that hibernation. Um, that's a very common thing that's associated with seasonal affective disorder is this desire to sort of just crawl into your cave and wait out the winter. What should people do if they believe they are suffering from this? I think speaking with your physician is probably a good idea, especially if you think that it's gotten to the point where it's out of the ordinary. You know, if it's something where, all right, I just feel a little bit down, then doing minor changes like getting out a little bit more. Um, we talk a lot about sun lamps as a possible treatment for this too. And um, they're also called full spectrum lamps or therapy lamps. And you can buy them pretty much anywhere. Um, you just have to make sure that they have pretty low ultraviolet light, but high lux is what it's called. Lux is a measurement of light power. And they say about 10,000 lux lights. You can have one of those in your house. You don't have to stare into it. In fact, they recommend you don't. Uh, you just put it up to the side where you're reading or using the computer or something. In fact, a lot of us have them here in the clinic while we're writing our notes, just to give us a little bit more sun exposure. Um, yeah, but if it gets to the point where those kind of things aren't helping, then I think speaking to your doctor is a very good idea because there are some other things that we can do that are a little bit more treatment types, um, such as medication. Um, and the other issue that I think is really associated with seasonal affective disorder too, that I think a lot of people don't think about is vitamin D. Thank you, Jason.